August 19th isn't too early to talk about Halloween, right? I mean, Disney does it. Hey everyone, this week I wanted to break down some stuff about what's going to be happening on my next trip. Specifically, I'm going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now originally I was not planning to attend the actual event. So if you don't know, this is a special ticketed event that happens after hours. So at 7 o'clock you have to be part of the event and pay a ticket. They range from about $80 to $100 depending on when you go and what discount you have and if you're an adult or a kid. So it's not a cheap thing. You do get free candy and there's some exclusive stuff that happens, which is what made me decide to go on this trip as part of my Disney bucket list. Specifically, I really want to go for the character meet and greets. They bring out a lot of characters that you never get to normally see. And so I figured if I'm going to do everything I can in one year at Walt Disney World while I'm living in Ohio, then I'm going to go to this event. The parties actually start in August. In fact, the first party was this past Friday, August 17th. So we finally have some details about this event, specifically what's going to happen, what events take place, what performances, what characters. So I thought we'd spend this week's vlog looking at what characters we know are going to be there and kind of pick out the ones I think I'm going to prioritize when I'm there. Because these characters do get very long lines, specifically some of the ones that you can only find at this party. I've got some information here, which is great. Some people post this online. So I've got the map, which shows you where the character meet and greets are. Disney is not publicizing which characters are where and even what characters they have. Now, I don't know if that means that they're going to change it from party to party. I doubt that from what people have said online, but thankfully some people in a Facebook group like Tyler gave me a list of where he thinks people are gonna be. And then I took the map and using some information about who the characters are, you can kind of guess which characters are gonna be where. So I thought we'd break down this list and look at which ones I'm gonna try my best to meet and see what you guys think. Is there anyone that I don't plan to meet that you think I should? I don't know. I want to meet some of the characters that I'm only going to have the opportunity to. Some characters are just going to be costumed differently. So like Mickey's going to be a Halloween costume. That's cool, but do I really prioritize that one? I don't know. All right, so let's break this down. First up, there's going to be Lotso from Toy Story 3. He's supposed to be where Buzz is, and I don't really have a good idea of where Buzz is going to be, but I'm going to guess somewhere in Tomorrowland. Then there's going to be Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet, and they're going to be over by the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Now, I met Pooh and Tigger on my last trip to Walt Disney World, so I'm eh, indifferent about them. And then there's going to be Mike, Sully, George, and Boo at the Monsters Incorporated dance party, which is an event they do every year. And it's meant for little kids, and basically they can go and bounce around and work out some of that sugar they've been inhaling all night long. There's also going to be Elvis Stitch, which will be in Tomorrowland, and so that Stitch is in an Elvis costume. Pretty cool. The Queen of Hearts and Tweedles. Now those are probably going to be over with Alice and the Mad Hatter by the Magic Tea Party. Cruella, which I don't know, but everyone seems to think she's going to be in Storybook Circus. So... That's back in the back of the park, so maybe. I don't know, that's an interesting one. Doc McStuffins and Timon are supposed to be at the dance party. The Grave Diggers from the Haunted Mansion, so they're supposed to be pretty cool to meet. I don't know where they're gonna be. I'm guessing somewhere near the Haunted Mansion, but there are no character meet and greets over that way, or at least that far out in the park, so that's interesting. Burr Fox and Rabbit, those are favorites of mine. Those are definitely gonna make the list. Bell and Gaston, Ariel and Eric, so Belle and Gaston are going to be by Gaston's Tavern. Ariel and Eric will end up being by Ariel's Grotto. Minnie, Donald, and Daisy, they will be somewhere in the park, maybe in Storybook Circus. Mickey will be towards the front. The Seven Dwarfs, which are also supposed to be by Storybook Circus. Anastasia and Drizella, the stepsisters from Cinderella, that's a tongue twister, will be by the castle. Pirate Goofy should be by the Brainstormer. Jack and Sally are usually over in the Liberty Square gazebo. They are the hot ticket couple to meet. I don't know if I'm going to wait in line to meet them. Depends on how much time I have and that kind of stuff. Mickey, like I said, he'll be up front. Jafar will be with Aladdin, Abu, and Genie. And I guess Jasmine's supposed to be there as well. Then there's Alana, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Tiana. I'm guessing that that will be where Rapunzel is usually. Tarzan, Jane, and Turk should be over in Adventureland. Jack Sparrow will be over by Pirates of the Caribbean. That one makes sense. And then Moana is supposed to be by the Tiki Room. So that's the list in the rundown. I don't know which ones I want to meet. I think I have some priorities here. So let's go through the list here for, real quick. The Queen of Hearts and Tweedles, I think, is an easy one to meet because I'm going to do Alice and the Mad Hatter. Hopefully, at the same time, they might have separate lines. I'm not really sure, but I think that those are high on my list because those are some classic characters that you'd expect to see at all the parks, but you really don't at Walt Disney World. You have to see them at special events. 
I think the Mad Hatter is more popular over in Disneyland Paris. Rare Fox and Rabbit definitely are on my list that I want to meet and greet. They're really hard to come by. This is probably the only opportunity I'll have this year to meet them. I wish that they had more merchandise with them. Like I'd love plush of those, but they don't have those. So I really want to meet those characters while I'm there. The Seven Dwarfs are another really long line usually because this is usually the only party they come out in. I'm gonna do my best to meet them as well because that seems like an awesome photo, right? You and all the dwarfs, that's all you need. Pirate Goofy, maybe. I'll see how that goes. He's on my list right now, but we'll see how that goes and how much time I have. Tarzan, Jane, and Turk seem like a no-brainer too. That just seems interesting to me and a cool set of characters. I like the ones where it seems like you can meet a group of characters all at once, if you haven't noticed. Jack Sparrow is on the list. He might get skipped depending on time. Then Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, and Genie, again, are a nice group of characters that would be cool to meet all at once. So those are the characters that I'm excited to meet. I will link to this map and everything down in the description below. So if you're interested about this, let me know. We will talk more about it as I prepare and I will vlog the night so you guys can see the experience firsthand when I get back. Which of these characters would you be most excited to meet? Who's your favorite character you've ever met at a character meet and greet? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if I've messed up my list and there's anyone I should do. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks about meeting characters at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm still posting more stuff there and I'll post some photos while I'm down there in another 40 days, which is crazy. It's only 40 days away, guys. I'm really excited. I can't wait. I am so anxious to get back to Walt Disney World and experience some things along with this, the Food and Wine Festival. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all those things happening that's going on. And until next week, I hope you have a great day. <music> 40 days until my next trip. Feels like forever from this perspective. And if I was at Disney, it would feel like a lifetime. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. That is literally saying the same thing. Okay.